Hi everyone, and welcome to a fan favorite, <laughs> meaning a favorite of you guys that take part in sharing and supporting my YouTube channel, another fun flow. So a lot of people really like these longer practices and longer sequences, so that's what today's um, sequence and yoga routine is gonna be based on. A Little bit longer in duration, 40, 45 minutes. It's gonna allow you to really feel a nice vinyasa practice something you can easily pair maybe with cardio prior or strength training, or of course, this might be your movement for today. So let's get started soon together. Grab your mats, and remember, if you ever have any questions or feedback, I'm open to any of that, which you can chat, or not chat, but you can comment in after the video. Thanks, guys. So mats are set up. Let's go ahead and find the top of the mat, and we're gonna sink down here. So I want you guys to spread your knees, drop your bottom. So, you know, if you're sore from those squats or in your hips, you might feel that right now. And then exhale, just kind of pull your knees apart, bring your chest up. This is called Malasana, deep yogi squat. And I want you just to take a moment here as the hips drop and as the heart lifts up to feel the sensation in your low back. Good, take a deep breath in. And then take a deep breath out. Exhale, have a seat on the earth. We're gonna lay down onto our backs together. So, whether you're practicing alone or with friends or buddies, just allow yourself some space to lay down. And very softly rock the back side to side. Sometimes the most simple thing to make the back feel a little bit less intense it's just a side to side rock. And then maybe you rock a little bit to the one side that's a little tighter and you feel that pressure. Good, exhale, let's bend our knees and plant our feet. We're gonna bring the knees to touch, it's called an A-frame stretch. And then your hands are gonna rest by your sides, palms face up, and I just want you to close your eyes. So as your mouth closes, as your eyes close, we start to cue the breath in and out of the nose. So normally in a group setting, we could hear each other breathe. But when we're individually at home practicing, sometimes it's harder to stay focused on the breath and awareness of the breath moving in and out. So do the best you can to inhale through the nose and exhale the same way out. To start to kind of trigger a response of the breath moving in and out of the body. And then you can keep your palms open or you can place your hands kind of over your ribs and you can maybe feel your belly rise and your belly fall. Good, one more breath here. Inhale, breathe in for me, please. Exhale, open the mouth to sigh it out. And then as you open up your knees, take the right leg forward, take the left leg forward. Bring both arms way over your head for the biggest stretch you can find lengthening from one end of the mat to the other, stretch it out. Good, right knee to chest, give it a hug, flex your right foot. So you're, that means your toes are reaching back towards your shin and your heel is reaching forward. Good, exhale, switch legs. Left knee comes in, lay the right leg down, flexion in your foot, toes pull back, heel presses forward. Good, Ekapada Apanasana, single leg wind relieving pose. Exhale, both knees to chest. Now let's rock on the back, forward and back. One, yes, you're gonna do some work today, but yes, you're gonna get a nice stretch. And three, let's come up to standing, but transition right to that forward fold. So feet are open about six to eight inches, knees bend a good bit. Good, exhale, fold. Grab opposite elbows, hang over the legs as you stretch out your low back, your hamstrings, 
and maybe even the bottoms of your feet by pressing down into the mat and lifting your tailbone up. Good, as you hang over your legs, just breathe. Three. Two. And then let your arms go. Nice, bone by bone we stand together. So take your time coming all the way up. Bring your shoulders up, down, and around. Bring your palms forward and then close your eyes. Take a moment for you. Let this practice help your body feel better. I want it to help your head and your mind to be in the right place for movement and to maybe feel a little bit more open. Let's inhale the arms up to sky. Good, let's exhale, bow forward, hands to toes. Let's inhale to lengthen the spine and do a flat back. So this is your Ardha Uttanasana. Good, exhale, fold, step back to down dog, one foot and then the other. So we're going right to this down dog shape, hold it. Good, ribs push back to thighs, booty lifts up, soften elbows. Let's exhale, plank. Inhale, look forward. Here's that first chaturanga push-up. Back bend, press forward and through. Remember, hips can be up or down, arms can be bent or straight. Exhale, we go to downward facing dog. Good, breathe in. Breathe out. I just kind of lifted high on the balls of my feet. Maybe that feels good for you. Maybe you bend your knees, left side, right side, and you push the heel down as you bend from left to right. Nice, take another breath in wherever you decided to stay. Exhale, look to those hands, bend your knees, step or jump up, take your time. Take a flat back and then exhale to fold in. Make fists and lift them to the sky, just like this. And now put your hands on your low back and then start to kind of use your fist to hit the top and sides of your hips and your bottom, but also the low back, maybe even up the sides of the spine, obviously not on the spine. And then maybe even your bottom and your hamstrings, maybe even your calf muscles. So give yourself that little bit of self-massage here, that sensation. So maybe you hold on your hamstrings. Maybe that's your tight spot, right? Or maybe you kind of took this practice all for the low back. So just start to kind of massage one region. Three, two, good. Release your hands down. Bone by bone, rise. Take the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Flat back to lengthen. Exhale again, step back to dog. One foot and then the other. Inhale brings you to plank. Exhale, look forward, chaturanga. Maybe go all the way to your belly. Inhale, come up, child's pose on your exhale. So hips to heels. Here's your resting pose today. So if you need a break, you take it. We'll start with a little shoulder opening. So come on up to hands and knees, move your hips left to right, just to make sure they feel comfortable and they always might make sound and pop. So just notice that. Take your right arm all the way up, breathe in, exhale, feed your right hand through, lay on the right shoulder. And now take your left arm up to sky, reach it way over the head. So as you peer under the left shoulder, take your hips, push them a little bit to the right, holding three, two, left hand grounds down, inhale, right arm, reach. And then let's transition to side two, inhale, left arm, breath in. Good, this is called thread the needle, so send your shoulder down and through, lay your ear down. And now raise the right arm up, reach it over the head and then hopefully you have enough range of motion for that arm to easily reach over the head keeping your hips in alignment holding three two right hand grounds inhale unwind 
Good, exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes and press back. So now we're here to stay for a little bit and flow from the back of our mat. So as you push back, feel the energy that you can create. And then slowly inhale, right leg lifts all the way up. Good, pause here. Step the right foot forward when you're ready and then lower left knee down to ground. Take your right hand, put it inside of your right foot. So I'm gonna lean my right shoulder to the inside of my knee and I'm gonna use the inside of this leg and I'm gonna hug in. Left arm opens up. Good, left hand comes down, right arm to sky. So here's your traditional twist. Good, open up, broaden through the back, release your right hand down, curl your back toes to raise the knee, and then inhale, hands to hips, as the torso comes up. Keep the right hand there, raise your left arm up to sky, stretch. Good, lean back, three, two, and one. You're gonna put your left hand down on the ground. You're gonna twist your right shoulder open and then gently extend the right arm. So if maybe you're here for your hips or your legs, we're gonna turn our right foot to the right. We're gonna drop our back heel and sink in. So you'll feel this a lot in the outside of your hips and IT band. Three, two, inhale up and over, exhale, frame the foot. Good, step to plank. Find your belly, lower down. Interlace your fingers over your tailbone. And now slowly slide the knuckles down the bottom. Good, inhale, bring your chest up. Three, press into those feet. Two, now put your thumbs next to you, or not your thumbs, your fists to the right, and then try to roll onto the right shoulder, putting your right ear down. So you'll feel this way, way, way opening the front of your chest in a safe way. Now roll back to your pelvis. By the way, if you can't roll to one side, that's also common if you're like, I'm stuck. <laughs> And then exhale, side two. So for me to roll to my left side, 10 times easier, much less, um, let's say, sensation, but I definitely still feel it. Come back to center on your next breath. Good, let those hands be free. Put them underneath of your chest line so that you can come up through up dog or cobra, and then all the way back to dog. So let's take the left leg up this time. Inhale, reach it up high. Exhale, ribs to thighs, hold your leg. Inhale as you breathe in, lift your leg up, up, up. Good, exhale to step forward and then we're gonna plug the right knee into the mat. So the left hand's gonna stay inside of this left foot first. The inside of the knee is gonna hug the arm and then here you go, raise your right arm high. So this is twisting to kind of the same side we're on. It's also a variation of side angle on the knee. And now exhale, a traditional variation of a knee down twist, right hand, and then left arm up. Keep hugging left inner thigh in, feel your body's effort to hold on. Lower left hand, curl back toes, lift right knee, hands to hips, bring it up. Good. Inhale, right arm. Get really long through your spine. Let this count. Reach, reach, reach. One more full breath in. Back bend. Exhale, right hand. Roll left shoulder. Extend left arm. Hold it. Now pivot. Heel and then toes and then sink. So feel the outside of this left booty and then reach away through your left hand. Good, three, 
two. Here we go, we come up and over. One, two, three to frame the foot. Nice work, exhale to plank. Chaturanga lower. Inhale up, and then exhale, we go to down dog. Let's do that same sequence, right leg, hold. Stretch through left hamstring while you're here. Get stronger through your torso while you're here. Keep your both arms level and parallel. Nice, exhale, step, right foot forward. Left knee lowers, right hand, remember, comes inside of the foot, left arm. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Good, stay here or bend your back knee this time and maybe invite the foot into the hand. Squeeze your inner thigh in, peel your chest open, three, two, reach up high to frame the foot. Curl your back toes, raise your knee. Hands to hips, bring it up. Left arm, inhale, here's your back bend. Now remember, if you're a pose or two behind me, that's totally fine. You don't have to feel rushed if maybe a pose feels really nice. Bring your left hand all the way down. Spin the right shoulder up. And then exhale, we lower the hips. As the right arm this time reaches straight back, palm face up, like an act of receiving. Come up and over. Before we go through a vinyasa, we add a hamstring stretch. Straighten right leg. So do as much as you can to feel those muscles in the back of your right leg. Stretch and breathe. Good, bend your knee, exhale, step back. Now maybe you lift your hips right to dog, or maybe you take your chaturanga. Remember, you can always put the knees down. Transition any way you wish, and then exhale, we go to dog. And then we go to the left. So inhale, we reach. Hold and stay, so the right knee has a small bend and we push back. Exhale, step forward, right knee comes to ground. Left hand inside a foot. Right arm up, peel open. See if you can feel that broadening through the pelvis and the chest as you reach the sky. And then right hand comes down, nice work. Left arm, here's your traditional twist. Exhale, stay, or we bend, and we find our back foot. Now this is a very hard ask, so if you can't get here, that's okay. Try to turn a little bit more to your left if you can. And then release your foot. Reach your arm up and over, we frame it. High lunge, curl your toes. Put your hands on your hips for assistance, come up. Right hand, take it away. And either let your right hand guide straight up so your torso is straight or into your back bend. Three, two, Put your hand down. Spin the left shoulder to sky. Drop and pivot the feet. And now just take this left hand straight back, palm face up. Three. Hopefully you're getting a little bit more room outside of bottom. One more breath. Come up and over. Frame the foot. Look forward. And then take a moment. Hamstring stretch. So as you pull your hips back, Breathe into them. Nice, exhale, bend your knee forward, vinyasa, or skip it. You can also take it all the way to the belly, untuck the toes, maybe come up for like an inch, come back down, and then you can press up and back that way to dog. All the different options kind of for what's best for your body. Knees are slightly bent as you look back. Tailbone is lifted and you're breathing. You can feel the stretch in the hamstrings and the bottoms of the feet and in your calf muscles. Look to your hands, bend your knees, step or jump. Halfway lift. And then take a forward bend. 
You're gonna bone by bone stand, so take your time. Make sure your back feels good and healthy. Take your arms all the way up. Lean back. And then exhale right back into your forward fold. Good, breathe out. Two more breaths. One more. Exhale, left foot is gonna step back. So keep your right foot forward. And then the left knee is gonna melt down to your mat. This time, instead of turning left or right, stay facing forward. Interlace your fingers with your index fingers up. And then lengthen and lift. Temple mudra as the index fingers reach. Keep your knee in alignment, hug your inner thighs together. Take another big breath in, back bend. Good, exhale your hands down. We're gonna transition to three-legged dog. So you're gonna raise your right leg all the way up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Send your leg back up. Touch your right tricep, tap. Good, leg comes back up. Can you touch your left tricep, twist, reach up, and then here's your step forward for warrior two. So hips pivot open to the left, right knee stays forward and land. So this is a nice vigorous pose here, meaning your legs are involved, but if you can find that place where you can bend your knee and hold on, I want you to feel strength in your legs. Reverse your warrior by reaching up and then maybe back. And then cartwheel your hands all the way down. Step back to plank pose. Exhale, knees down, shins down. Sit on your heels. Now, if this isn't available for you based on flexibility, you can also go right here or sit on your butt. Reach your arms out. Interlace and flip. Bring them up. Lean back, lift your chest to the sky, holding three, two, and now take your arms out wide. Take your right arm underneath. Eagle the arms by holding shoulders or crisscross forearms. Lengthen, and then exhale, bow. Repeat, lengthen, and then bow. One more time together. Good, and bow. Reach up. Good, forearms down. Here's that little bit of work. If you're okay with it, curl your toes. Dolphin. Bottom is in the air, should feel very similar to down dog hold. Knees are slightly bent as your tailbone elevates. Continue to press down into your mat, holding three, two, one more big breath. You've got this. Exhale, drop the knees. Straighten your arms and then Let's take a cow pose together. So untuck your toes, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, here's your cat for the first time, tuck. Let's move to down dog when you're ready. Please extend your hips back. Look to your hands, bend your knees, step or jump. Lift the spine. And then fold in. Peace fingers, okay? So index finger, middle finger grabs the big toe from the inside. We lift and we lengthen through the spine and then we exhale, we fold, the tailbone lifts up, the heart bows, the elbows, they get floppy to the sides. Good. Inhale, flat back. Use that to come all the way up. And then exhale to fold forward. Take a flat back as you lengthen. We'll step back with the right foot this time and we'll lower the right knee. 
Inhale, everything stays facing forward as we come up. Index fingers up, find that temple mudra. Mudra is your hand variation, so it's how the palms are kind of being put into this pose. Take another full breath in. Good, let's frame our foot, send our left leg up and back, three-legged dog. So it's Ekapada Adha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift your leg. Touch your left arm, really try to get it in tight there. Good, reach back up. Touch your right arm, so take a nice little twist, reach back up. And then exhale to step forward. Pivot your back foot, come up to warrior two pose. So let your left knee move forward. Plug your right foot down. Strong through both of your arms. So if this back arm is down here, take a quick peek and pick it up. Look forward. Holding, building strength in those legs, all the muscles in your feet, toes, ankles. Reverse, so reach straight up to start and then maybe you can get more room. Good, cartwheel down, exhale, plank, and drop your knees. Put your shins down, sit on your heels. Inhale, flip the palms, reach up and lean back. Remember, you can be up on your knees or seated on your butt if this hurts your shins or your knees. And then exhale, open the arms. We'll go left under right. So hold those shoulders or crisscross. And then again, this is your movement, a small back bend into a small forward fold. So just like barely flex the spine forward. Repeat. Good, repeat. And then one more dolphin, we'll throw it in there. Roll the shoulders back. Palms together this time, give this version a try. Curl your toes, bottom to sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel where it gets tough. Where can you sustain this energy? Where can you lift your bottom up, up, up? Where can you find the strength to hold on? Exhale, shift your chest forward for a breath. Push way back for a breath, nice. One more time, shift forward, shift way back, drop your knees, nice job. Exhale, sit on those heels one more time. And then let's find a vinyasa. So first shift to down dog, press it back. Exhale, come forward to plank, you'll lower slowly. Inhale to come up, child's pose. So bring your hips to your heels. Good, feel the back, hopefully find a place where it's relaxed. Two more breaths here. One more. Nice effort. We'll find that transition forward. And then you're gonna sit down on your bottom for me. So we're gonna get a little bit into the stomach. So let's scooch forward and lay down onto the back shortly. Now, as you lay down, hug your knees in. Give me again that same side to side rock we started with where hopefully now you feel much healthier in the spine than maybe when we started practice. Good, knees are at 90 degrees. Feet are in flexion if you want them to be, meaning the toes reach back, the heels reach forward. We tap both of our heels if you can. We pull the knees in, the hands go behind the head, we crunch up, and then we lower. So you can keep your hands here. If you need them next to you, you can switch them each time. We tap, we come up, we crunch, we lower, good, tap, up, crunch, 
lower. Tap, lift, crunch, lower. Tap, lift, crunch. How about three more? Tap, lift, crunch, one. Tap, lift, crunch, two. Last time, tap, lift, crunch, three. Reach underneath of your knees and give yourself a nice little rock. Good. And then straighten your legs to the sky. You're gonna place your hands next to you, all right? You're gonna stay here for option one. Option two, you're gonna pick up your butt, hold it in your hands, and then stay here. Option three, you're gonna bring those toes over the head. It's called plow pose, and then try to touch the toes to the ground. So if you feel your upper back, your shoulders stretching, then you're in the right spot. Keep lengthening from the back of your hamstrings. Keep lifting the butt. Three. Two. Hold where you are. Now, if you're with me, it's very important that we sustain the effort the whole way down. So I'm gonna lower my upper back, my low back. Keep your head in alignment. And then the bottom. You're gonna plant your feet. We're gonna briefly bridge the hips up. Good, lower them down. Hug both knees to chest. Here we go, seated. Cross your ankles one in front of the other and then lengthen the spine. So I want you to take your tail and press it down. Take your head and reach it up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let's twist right. So peer over the right shoulder. Try to turn as much as you can through the midsection as you do this. So you're not back here lounging. You're still long through your spine. And then rotate through center. Side two, twist. Look over the shoulder. Find your length for three. two, and then transition forward. Now, I need to scoot back just because I need some more room. <laughs> if you need to do that, do so. And then you're gonna walk your hands forward. So some of you may be here, maybe this is as far as you can go. Some of you, if you can get lower, go for it. And I encourage you just to enjoy that nice and deep fold. You'll feel that nice pull through the back. It should feel healthy and strong. Setting up for three, two, and then bone by bone, bring the spine up nice and long. And then we're gonna extend both legs forward. So sometimes when the legs are extended, we have a little bit less of a forward fold and that's okay but just listen to your body here. So let's inhale both arms to sky. Exhale as you reach forward, go ahead and fold over your shins. Good, feel the stretch through the back of the body and continue to lengthen as much as you can. While you're here, notice if you feel that kind of banded stretch in the mid to upper, super low. So are your hips involved? Are your hamstrings tight? How does your body feel? And I ask you these questions because I want you to feel aware of your movement. Good, slowly come up when you're ready, inch by inch, take your time. Spine is super long. And then on your exhale, pivot your butt forward and lay on your back. Give both of your knees a big hug and you're gonna give me a side to side rock. We're gonna plant our feet again. So we did a very baby back bend after plow pose, but now see if you can give it a little bit more attention. Hands go flat, feet go flat. We firm the glutes, we lift up as high as we can 
And I want you to focus on hugging everything into the midline so that you really feel the activation and the energy of bridge. And then very safely come down. Now, rest here. Repeat or arms to sky. Hands by your ears. Notice my feet don't move. So I don't have to go some weird way with my feet. A lot of us tend to take our feet wider and turn our toes out. Try to stay where you are. Pick your back bend, and if you're coming with me, toes face forward, hips up, and then press through the arms. So this does give you a really nice stretch, but it also requires some work and flexibility, so listening to your body. And then when you're ready to get out of it, you very, very carefully exit. Good. And now everyone, just put your hands on your belly and shut your eyes for a moment. And notice if you feel kind of how a back bend can also help stretch your core and open the heart. And then you're gonna give your right knee a big hug. You're gonna straighten the right leg to sky for a little stretch of your hamstring. So allow that leg to get nice and long. Cross your ankle over your thigh, hug your left knee to chest, and then here's that side to side rock on this side. Good, side to side. Three, two, and one. Allow your left foot to release to ground, and then your right foot. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, and then please give me a hug again. Good, and left to right, we'll get that hamstring stretch in after, don't worry. Side to side. And now glue the right foot down, hug the left knee back in, and then let the leg go straight. Good, three, two, and one. So now both of your knees are bent and feet are planted. I want you to pick up your butt, move it over to the left. All right, so you literally picked up your booty like a bridge and you bumped it left, okay? Now pull your knees tightly to chest, drop them to your right. And then you may need to pull your booty a little bit more left, otherwise spinal twist. Now your goal is to pick up your head, roll your left ear down and look over the left shoulder. But a lot of that depends on kind of, obviously the flexibility in the upper traps and neck of your body. Feel the twist here through the low back and the side body. And then on your next breath, you're gonna very carefully bring everything back to center, take your time. Pick up your butt, put it down again. Now pick up your butt, move it to the right, one, two, three. Pull the knees in, drop them to the left. And then again, can you pick up your head? Can you put your right ear down to really feel this twist? And you should feel it through the right side body, ribs into the tail for three. Two, as you open up through the chest, you can move a little bit, guys, it's okay. And then come back to center. Pick up your butt, put it down, okay? So practice that. Pick up your butt, move it left. Pick up your butt, move it right. Pick up your butt, put it down in center. And that will help you maneuver a lot easier through these poses. Let's pull our knees towards our armpits for happy baby. I encourage you to close your eyes here and to feel the body as you go side to side. So noticing the inner thighs and their tightness. And then exhale when you're ready. We'll melt our bodies into Shavasana. So legs are gonna go long one and then the other. If you have a different way you prefer to rest, you can do that as well. But I encourage you to kind of feel the back of your body settle, to feel the palms find a flat, comfortable space up. 
and then to just sit, or excuse me, lay together right here. Allowing yourself to kind of feel this practice, the choice to show up and move. And how you've been doing. It's become more and more common to figure out how your coworker or your friend or your relationship, how they're doing. Right? We want to know. We want to understand emotionally where we can help where we can take a step back, and what can be best. Last three breaths. Big sigh. And now pull your knees in nice and tight. Take your time. Slow, controlled hug. Exhale, lengthen out through the back. And then come to seated. Round over your knees for me for a moment. Pick up your head. And then bring your hands to heart center. Sitting up tall, eyes can be closed or a soft, gentle gaze. I encourage you to feel the gratitude of movement and of today's practice as it runs through your whole body. You are very strong, you are very aware, and you are very capable of all the movements that your body decides to choose and try. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope each one of you have a very, very wonderful day. Let's bow forward together. Namaste. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the practice and the sequence and I'll see you again soon.